Hey everyone, it's me, Phoenix Darkwing, and welcome to another video. And today we are doing another how to build episode. So, guys, today you know what we're going to be teaching. If you saw by the title, Tubes and Terrain! Hell yeah! Let's get into it! Hey, so, thing that you guys should probably know when you're using Tube is the Tube menu. On your palette, we've got the tube size. So just changes the actual size of the tube when I'm actually able to. So you can go really small. A little, little bigger. A little bigger. A little bigger. And holy hell! That's very big. These are just the different sizes. So, depending on what you're wanting to do with the Maker Pen, depends on what size you're really going to need. Let's bring this up. Oh, also, guys, another massive tip for you is either get a free uh, color palette, or make a pen palette. Uh, pretty much, it's every single color and every single texture on one big block. Right. Well, I, th I think some things that confuse a lot of people are the what the tube analog mode is, because I've already been asked about this a lot. So, pretty much at the moment, I've got it on raw. So, as you look. It goes in very, very, very fast. Brush stroke. It's it's more. It's less abrupt, really, because no matter how hard you try. So unlike this, what's that? So unlike this, this goes in straight away. Whilst brush stroke requires you to keep moving to let go, you know, to shrink it. Right, let's go over some other things. Ah, uh, connect to nearby tube. So pretty much, if I do that, if I turn that off, no matter how hard I try, it won't connect. But if I do connect to nearby tubes, it will connect. I should, pr <laughs> I should probably not have used a bigger version, but that's why connect to nearby tubes is a fantastic idea. Uh, smooth tubes. So, it's, well, smoother. Uh, it's especially useful when doing terrain, because the next thing comes in. So, tube height ratio. That is what tube height ratio does. Pretty Sorry that I missed a little bit out. So, I'm currently in the editing process. I'm editing all of this. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know exactly what tube height ratio actually is. So, pretty much the tube, not sure if you noticed, where it gets wider and thinner. That's what it does. It, it pretty much... The lower, like the lowest percentage you make it, the thinner it is, and the bigger you make it, the wider it is. Uh, as you'll have seen in the last clip, right? See you later. Um, grid is only really good for when you're doing a uh, very straight and you know very structured tubing. It's where you know exactly where you want it to go, and you don't want it any other way. Terrain is definitely a lot different from that. When it comes to terrain, you're pretty much going over and over and over, and hoping it looks good. So, two facets, as I described earlier. Oh god. As I described earlier, it's how many sides. The shape has but pretty much these are the different shapes you can make 
using the tube facets. So if you're wanting to make a really cool chair, then you can do it. You just kind of have fun when making stuff, really. Tube is something that looks better when random. If you don't try it, then how will you know, really? Let me show you guys how to build some really good terrain. Um, which colour do I want to go with? Uh, by the way, this is a free invention which I did. One sec, let's see if I can pull it up. Invention... There it is, colour palette. It's a fantastic invention to have. Uh, it is free, so you can spawn in and you're allowed to edit it. And it means that... So, I'm wanting to find a dirt. Hmm. Can I want to go with a snow? As it's, you know, winter at the moment. So, let me go with sand. Where's sand? There it is. So I will select that. And options will appear. And I'm going to eyedropper. Anything you eyedropper. Will all appear in your shapes. So we've got the shapes. Materials, colour and. Oh there's the ink dropper. So whatever shape. You know whatever colour you were going for. You can go find. In there. Right, so I want to go with 50 percent. No, I want to go with twenty percent. Five. I want to go big and yeah. Do I want to go smooth tubes? I do want to go smooth tubes. So <clears throat> I think I want to make a park. So let's turn off snapping, and I am going to s just really start. So I am going to start kind of going around. You don't have to do it like me. Honestly, this is what's special about tubes. Do I like that? I don't. So I do a special thing with my tubes, which not many other creators really do. And that is, I am, whenever I'm doing tubing, I, for some reason, I always do a border before I actually do anything else. I border it, and then I work on the center. So, I kind of want to have a lake. So, where do I want to put the lake? I kind of want to put it down here. So, I kind of want to have this as like a little mountain ledge. So, let's manipulate this ledge up. Um, also, if you start getting frustrated with not being able to select a certain tube, don't worry, you're not the only one. Creators like me complain about tubes every single day because of its selection being really bad. Come on, come on, ah, ah, ha-ha, ha-ha, I did it, <coughs> Jesus, sorry, uh, and then I want to have it go down a bit, yep, understand it doesn't have to be neat, you can neaten it up at any time with your manipulate, so, you can make it really, like nice turns because these are pivot points or manipulation points these are a very nice thing to get a lot of but watch out because it's actually these which take ink not the actual tube it's these which if you make environmental you'll actually be stepping on these little points here they're the only little thing on the tube which will actually be environmental. And God, it will execute your ink. Like, you won't even know what hit you. 
when you see how much ink that takes. Environmental tubes always take the most amount of ink. No matter how much you try to re reserve for it, it's always better to go round with invisible collisions afterwards. Also, not sure if you guys have noticed, but I am not being neat. Oh, I have got connected nearby tubes turned off. That's not good. I was wondering why it wasn't connecting. Oh, am I facing my sensor? No, I'm not. That's why my hand was flying away. Not sure if you noticed, this looks bad. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it look better. Let's make it look a little better. So I am going to try fill in these little gaps. So I don't want this little gap. I want to kind of bring in a turn here. Oh, one second and there. Because I kind of want to have a slope, but I'm also wanting to do like a cliff side to kind of show you guys how to do, how, how I do cliffs anyway. So, you're kind of wanting to have it look smooth and not have any super shiny, shiny bits. Right. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Also, if you guys have any questions about how to do tube or how to do terrain, I am doing this as well as anyone who comments on the videos i don't mind helping them out if you guys need any pointers i don't mind giving them this i'm genuinely only doing for fun because i have been extremely bored and i just thought this would be a fun way to use time really and it also means that I can help others whilst doing stuff. Right. So that's my next... Oh, no, no. That is not my next layer done. Sorry. Sorry, I noticed that. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Right, I want to cliff it. So I'm going to section that off. So that I know where my cliff's going to be. Now I want to fill this area in. Oh, it's doing the autocorrect. Please don't do autocorrect. Oh, it's doing... Oh, no! No, it autocorrected it. No! Sorry. It... So, whenever it sees that something might be a straight line, it will try correct it to try save as much ink as possible. Also, by the way, not sure if anyone else noticed this, but ink is just another word for memory. Because the servers only have a certain amount of memory. And... Honestly, if you increase the memory too fast or... If it's going faster than the computers which are playing it, you know, it it can it can get a bit weird. It's it's a fun fact to know. Oh god. That doesn't look very good. <laughs> Blame me now. I should probably get a drink. Uh <clears throat> right. Oh God. Uh, can I do that? Yes, I can. And do that. Yep. I want to. I want to see if I can select this one because I'm seeing that little gap. As you can see, I thought that uh, the tube that I was selecting was the right one, but it wasn't. Tube 
it's it's weird. It's kind of what puts people off. Where is it? There you are. There you are. I see you. No, no, no. There we go. <sighs> Sorry if I sound like a blown motorbike. It's not intentional. <coughs> Hell. I swear I have not got COVID. Jesus. But I sound like I do. Uh, why can I not select this one? Is it this? No. Is it this? No. Why can I not select? There we go. As you can tell, it is a pain. So, I really want to do, like, the lake here. And kind of downpour this. Oh, no. Why'd you do that? Hey. Okay, so I'm going to... Because I'm wanting the lake to be here. I'm going to surround that. I'm currently trying to use this little edge here <coughs> to kind of match up with here so it's got like that seamless look. Also, massive sorry to all of the uh, terrainers out there for me giving away some secrets that you guys really don't like people knowing. Because, to be fair, it's what makes all you guys so desired. Because you guys know something that others don't. How to use chew properly. Something that is a rare skill. In this day and age of Rec Room, anyway. Hopefully, um... Rec Room Builders will get better with these videos. <clears throat> and even people who have absolutely no idea... Honestly, I know Rec Room will probably have a go at me for even making stuff like this. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm not too sure. It's just, uh, if... If this does well, it might get rid of the need for Maker Pen classes. <clears throat> um, although, I guess not. Because I have to say, if, if you end up getting the jacket, not the jacket, the graduation stuff, it does look pretty alright. I'm not too interested in myself, but it's pretty good, man. And fun fact for you guys, I have never in my entire time of Rec Room ever been into a Maker Pen class. I've been invited as a teacher God knows how many times, but I have never, you know, actually been in one, which is something that a lot of people think is kind of bizarre. I'm not sure how, but I self-taught myself everything, and I've done well. I hope so, anyway. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Right, I want to kind of notch this seam. 
Oh no, I don't want you to do that. And right now it's time to kind of get some stone in. So I'm going to go with ten. Get some of that in, and I want to pretty much start. Oh, a little bigger than that, I'd say. Maybe eight. Yeah, that works. So, the fun facts about uh, Tube, you're genuinely just scribbling. If you're good at scribbling books, then you have a crack at it. Because you're genuinely just going over and over and over. If it don't look good, Add more scribble. It'll eventually look good. Like, this looks really bad at the moment, but it won't. So I want to I wanna kind of scribble a little here. And then I want to kind of add a bit more scribble. Yeah, I want to add a bit more scribble. And I'm just going across. Oh. Another fun fact for you guys, which should help you a lot, is... Did you guys know that uh, Tube... Well, not just Tube, but... Uh, you can have a lot more objects and a lot more... So you can merge a lot more stuff. If... You only just make it decorational, merge it all, and then you can make it... Uh, environmental after and that's how some of the devs like Marissa have been making some of their maps because if you're going to let's say uh, that snowy template if you delete even one object there it will kind of have a go at you and be like <laughs> no you've deleted one of my parts you don't have enough ink to get another it's not even the fact that you've not got enough ink. It's genuinely just because your uh, object has too many shapes in it. That's it. And because you've made it decorational when merging, it thinks that you've kind of gone over the limit here. And, oh, well, you kind of need to uh, not have that. Okay, right. So, right now, I want to kind of add some mountains. So, I've done an outer border. I kind of want to add some mountains. I want to kind of add a little nice area where we can have like a view. But I want to kind of have some mountains. So, I'm going up. I'm scribbling it in. Because as I said, scribbling is just, just terrain. It's just controlled scribbling. Which is entertaining if you think of it like that. Yeah, that that person on your build team who's been doing terrain for you, or even being extremely lazy and not doing anything for your team, because they know you can't do without them. Yeah. It's genuinely just because they scribble well. And they think, well... <laughs> There, there's not anyone who's probably going to scribble better than them. Genuinely, it's more ideas, really. If you can come up with the ideas, and you have the patience to actually put some time and effort into it, into your ideas, then go for it. 
you'll make some absolutely gorgeous masterpiece. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of the stuff that you guys make. Also, guys, if you're wanting to friend me... Oh, God. If you guys are wanting to friend me, that's my username. Go for it. Oh, I have broken the audio. <sighs> Don't worry, guys. There we go. So, I'm wanting to have a massive scribble. Yeah, I want to have massive scribble. Yep, massive scribble. If you scribble well enough, you're a terrainer. Ah, yes. What's funny is how many times some, like, really big professional trainers have come up to me and be like, Yo! Why does it look so good? Like, what did you do? Me thinking, I scribbled hard enough! And it looks good! <laughs> So I'm going to go back round, because I kind of want to do a nice border. Because I knew you were happier, it's true. Sorry, I've got that song stuck in my head now. But I'm just going around again. Uh, okay, I'm happy with that. Now, here comes the fun part. So, to get a really nice looking terrain, yeah, it's genuinely just. Does that go? No. Does that. Oh, that does go. Okay. But I kind of want to make it darker. Ah, yes. There we go. Ah, that's why. One second. I need to make this decorational because I have hit the limit of tubes. Right, and then let's go wacky. So you're genuinely just going over some bits with... Oh, no, I want to manipulate that because I kind of popped it out a bit too much. Oh god, there we go. Also, if anyone wants to know how long I've been doing tube, you know, like, uh, terrain, I've been doing terrain since the Hidden Worlds contest, where I did a map called Narnia. Uh, unfortunately, they kicked me out of the team before the end of the build phase. Bit of a sucky move, but... Uh... They got disqualified because of it, so, eh, guess payback, but uh, I did a load of terrain in that map, uh, they did delete said terrain, but, um, yeah, I want to, I want to go with, like, maybe a, oh, actually, I want to make this, like, ultra thin. Because I want to have some like, proper looking ice. Right. 
Right. Haha. Uh, and I'm going to edit this because I want to have this video as part of the Christmas countdown. That's going to be fun. Honestly, I've always done Christmas countdown. It's kind of a tradition of mine on my YouTube channel. So if you guys come join during Christmas, you get to see... I used to do a load of streams, but YouTube wanted to ban me from streaming. Yeah, sucks to suck, but... YouTube did what it wanted, as it always does. And of course, I can't do anything. Funny thing is, my friend also got banned and he hadn't even got any videos! <laughs> His entire channel got taken down though. So, he got it a little worse off than me. Like, I was like, Jesus! Your whole channel was taken down and like, yep. Yeah. I was like, blimey hell. How did that happen? I don't know. I hadn't even got videos. I was like, wait, what? You hadn't even got content, but yet they still banned you? Uh, they tried appealing the ban, uh, and it instantly got rejected. Oh, hell. Honestly, that look... It, it, it's not the best. I have to say. Well, I kind of like that, you know, and because I want to make the water look a little better, I want to, I want to go into decor, go across to page seven, <laughs> where there is glass. Yep, glass. Except for I want to angle this because I don't want it to be perfectly straight. Uh, oof. There we go. And then I want to turn off world alignment. Oh, and I'm going to need to move this down touch so about that and then I want to uh, I need to find where the terrain is there it is Severus Tortalis there we go They're looking a hundred times better. <clears throat> and then we want to go back to this terrain because it's a snowy environment. We want to go back to tube. We want to go back to sand. You know, I could have just done that. But uh, I want to get back to tube. You know, uh, have I got smooth? I have got smooth tube on. And now, all you have to do is top it. So, if you can figure out how snow lays, you know, how it lays on top of stuff, it doesn't really fall much. You genuinely just tippy top of mountains all the way down the bottom. If it's a slope, like a really deep slope like that, it's not going to have snow. But like flatlands like this, they're going to be snowy. And you want you want to kind of still let some of it show, you know, still let some of the you know the uh, ground that you made earlier make some of it show throughout so you kind of sticking tube inside tube to have like that kind of effect 
so that it, you know, still has that realistic touch to it of, oh, so some of the snow has fallen off and some patches don't have, while well, some do, which just adds that touch of realism to it, which just makes it look a lot, lot, lot better. And... I want to do that. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I want to add a bit more up here. Because it's a mountain. We can't have it very bare. There we go. So, this is what it looks like so far. You can stick a house on here. You can manipulate it. You can really make anything. So... The main thing to learn from this is change your tube height ratio, your size depending on where you're working, change your facets, so if I'm wanting to make something really flat, I will turn to 5 and 2 because it does that flat. If I'm wanting to make a chair, I'm going to use 4. If I'm wanting to do any mountainous terrain, I'm going to switch to 10 and make it big. Also, massive tip for you, if you're wanting to make a sharp look and have it kind of have a very rocky look or like there's something underneath it, just go back in on itself. Right guys, that's it for the tutorial of how to do terrain. Uh, if you want me to do any more detail or want me to do any more specific on any aspects you didn't understand, please comment it down below and I'll make sure to do that in future. So this is the finalization of the snowy mountainous terrain with a lake. So. I hope you guys learned something really fun or useful in this video. If you didn't, please comment what you want to learn next down below, and I'll make sure to get covered in next week's video. And as we all know, troops and terrain! <laughs> so if you guys want to learn anything else, like if you're wanting to learn any CB2, please go over to Mighty's channel. If you're wanting to learn any swords, weapons, anything like that, or maybe you want to learn any other stuff which they might be doing in the near future, please go over to Skylar's channel. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please look for the good. <laughs> God, I got tongue tied. Well, and as always, if you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Lost in the sun.